The horrible vision of the Sundering weighed heavily on Emperor Xiao Hao. Cold and alone, he ascended Mount Neverest, seeking wisdom from the Jade Serpent. What troubles you, young emperor? The Spirit of Wisdom asked. Xiao Hao replied, Countless demons will soon pour over Azeroth. What must I do to save my kingdom? The Jade Serpent answered, Seek out the heart of Pandaria, for the answer lies within. But how can I find it? The Emperor protested. Your emotions cloud you, said the serpent. Free yourself of these burdens. Let the land be your teacher. But the emperor did not understand. He sulked back to his home in the Jade Forest. As he traveled, he commiserated with his old friend, the Monkey King. I was to have a long life, a prosperous realm, the Emperor cried. I cannot do this. Relax, said the Monkey King. We are in this together. As he spoke, the four winds began to howl. A great gust blew the Monkey King away. The Monkey King laughed and called out above the rowing storm, Sorry! You can't fight fate! The Emperor cried out for his friend. No, wait! I cannot do this alone! And in that moment, all of Xiao Hao's uncertainty was manifest in a terrible dark energy. A Shah of Doubt. The more the Emperor struggled, the more he weakened. The Shah would surely overtake him. Then, Xiao Hao remembered the wisdom of the Jade Serpent, and he looked to the land for answers. Nearby, the bamboo of the Jade Forest was also threatened. The reeds that stood rigid against the gale broke under its force. But the reeds that bent with the wind endured the storm and prospered in the rain. Xiao Hao realized the lesson of the reed. And when he turned his back to the Shah, suddenly all his doubts vanished. He knew he could be more than just emperor. The four winds carried the Laughing Monkey King over the valley and through the wilds. The Emperor's faith led him onward to save his friend and to stop the terrible sundering the water speaker had foreseen.